Hey you! <laughs> Isn't that already? You read my mind. Let me get in that. so nice. And you feel really good too. You're so warm and cosy. How long have you been in here? <laughs> I need to steal your heat <laughs> by getting really close like this. <laughs> Sorry, my hands are probably freezing. <laughs> I suppose I'll need to do something to warm them up. <laughs> I mean, hey, <laughs> can you really blame me? How can I be expected to keep my hands off you? You know, I find the combination of big fleecy socks and an oversized t-shirt extremely erotic. <laughs> but only when they're in a body like yours. <laughs> you really do drive me crazy. I want to make you feel as good as you look right now. <laughs> well, just hold on and you'll find out soon enough. Uh, hey, what's up? <laughs> Not even if I let you keep your socks on. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> no, of course not. I'm more than happy to just lie here with you instead. Do you want to cuddle? We could put a movie on if you'd like. Great, great. Oh, of course I don't mind. I'm happy just hanging out here if you're not in the mood. <laughs> Come here, sweetheart. Snuggle up. <sighs> okay, what to watch? I think I'm in the mood for a thriller, like an old black and white one. What do you think? Darling? Hey, sweetheart. What's the matter? disappointed. You know that I always love it when we do that sort of thing together, but I can only enjoy it if I know you're enjoying it too. <sighs> you know, any 
time you want us to stop, we can stop. You don't need to make yourself upset like this. Oh, okay, well, what else is it? Still feeling down. Is this why you came to bed early? Yeah, I know how that can be. Sometimes you just want to curl up and wait for the day to end. I know. I can't really do much to help right this minute, but I want you to know that I think you're doing really well. I know you're having a hard time, and I know it doesn't always feel like it, but you're doing so well just by powering through like this. And if you need to just fall apart at the end of the day, I think that's fair. <laughs> but I'd like to take some of the weight for you, if you'd let me. <laughs> hey, hey, you're not a burden. Don't be silly. You're never a burden to me. I want all of you. And that means I want you during the tough times as well as the fun times. I know it can be hard to share without making yourself more upset, but I really do want to hear about what's going on with you and how you're feeling. It's easy to be with someone when everything's going great, but the challenge comes when things start to go south. And I'd like to be part of that with you. Uh, no, I, I don't mean that I want to see you upset, I just... The, Oh, I see. You pounced back and now you're teasing me. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> Listen, how about you put your biggest, comfiest hoodie on and you fall asleep with me? Sound good? Okay. <laughs> Things will look brighter in the morning, darling. I promise. <laughs> yeah. You underestimate the power of my snuggles. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> That's it. Just smush into me. No, I don't need sleep. I've evolved past that. Oh. <laughs> but I can tell that you do. So let's get you off. <laughs> You've got a filthy mind and you should be ashamed of yourself. 
want my talk for a bit. Would that help you drift off? Yeah? Something to help you take your mind off everything? <sighs> okay, close your eyes. Let me think. It can't be anything too interesting. Well, I've been doing some reading recently about the language of flowers. Did you know that people used to send each other bouquets of flowers that had like messages in them based on how the flowers were arranged and which ones you put together. It's called floriography and you could send someone an offensive bouquet or declare your undying love for them and then the person would have to decipher the code you built into the flowers. <laughs> Imagine getting a bunch of flowers, running off to decipher in your little code book, and then finding out they were trying to let you down gently or something. <laughs> I know, it's an incredibly polite way of turning someone down though. <laughs> I think that practice died down around the time the telephone got invented. Uh, so that's why red roses are traditionally sent on Valentine's Day, because they were the symbol of love and saying, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> and speaking of flowers, the garden has been looking better and better recently. I think all the work we did on it last year is really paying off now. Uh, that flower thing I was talking about is similar to the way that the calls of birds are considered to have different meanings. I could swear I heard a whiffle will in Zelda, and that apparently means impending death, so I don't know if game designers were clever enough to put that noise in when you were approaching the enemy. Or maybe I'm just imagining the whole thing and creating this headcanon for no reason. <laughs> oh, uh, speaking of which, I found another shrine in Zelda the end of the day. <laughs> and I can't see your face right now, but I can almost feel you rolling your eyes. <laughs> I'm just going to keep talking because I think you secretly love to hear about how I'm getting on in a game that has been out for years. <laughs> I swear I'm going to 100% this thing if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> it was near the Yiga hideout. It was a puzzle on, and you basically had to time the detonation of a couple of bombs in order to get the door to open. So that's two more shrines left to find. Well, no, uh, once I complete all the shrines I'll still have Korok seeds to find. And there are about 900 of those. Yes, I'm serious. I have about 300 so far, and I think I have about 46% of the game completed overall. <laughs> Listen, don't speak, you're supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> I've completed it about five times, but I've never finished it without looking up the locations online. So that's my goal for this playthrough. By my calculations, I should have achieved that by the time the next game comes out. And then I can start on that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet you can't wait. 
there are probably going to be 2,000 of each thing to collect and I'm going to sit and play and collect every single one. <laughs> you can watch me play, but I leave you quiet. You're not allowed to comment or distract me. <laughs> yes, I think you're very distracting, in fact. Well, let me think. You have the most beautiful eyes I think I've ever seen. I get lost in them so easily, I sometimes think you spellbound me. So that's distracting. And when you smile, you get this look in your eyes sometimes that I... <laughs> oh. Only when you're looking at me. <laughs> I don't know how many times I need to say it, but you're supposed to be sleeping, darling. Yeah, you're supposed to be sleeping next to me, all cosy and warm, so safe and relaxed. Right. Up in my arms. Mm. We're supposed to be sleeping. Oh. 